Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am so pumped for today's video. Like the title says, I'm gonna be trying a full face of Zara Beauty. I am so excited. And I have a funny story to tell you. I actually uh, did not know that Zara launched beauty. So I went on the app as usual shopping for some fashion and I saw the beauty section and I was like, what? I need to try this for you guys. So I put all of that in my cart and I wanted to check out the next day. And when I was going to check out, um, a massive box comes to my house and it's Zara Beauty. So I got PR from Zara. So yes, all this makeup is gifted to me by Zara. It is PR. I only purchased the foundation and the three eyeshadows that you're gonna see. That's what I purchased with my own money. The rest of it was sent to me by Zara. So thank you so much for that. This means a lot. Okay, so a couple of things I noticed that the packaging is very luxurious. It's very heavy, very chic like Zara is. It's just beautifully luxe and this screams Zara, like everything about this it's on the affordable luxe kind of range. So all of this will be like about 1,200, 790 bucks for the lipstick. For the kind of packaging they're giving us, I'm just like, dude, this price is a steal. Very affordable, it's very accessible. It's on the Zara app or the website or in stores, wherever you wanna purchase your Zara from. And I just love the whole idea of the packaging. Let me just show it to you actually. It's not gonna sit straight, it's gonna sit like this on your table, which is again very unique to Zara now. So I'm so excited to just dive into affordable makeup. But does the formulation actually work? That is the question. Stay tuned to find out. All right guys, so my skin has already been prepped. I've used the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Moisturizer and the Nykaa 24K Gold Beauty Oil. And then I have been loving the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Eye Base lately. This is the one, it is so nice. I used to not use under eye creams, but now it just really looks nice it makes my concealer look good so okay so we're gonna begin with complexion i'm so excited to introduce the zara foundation but before that i want to tell you that i have reduced the brightness of my light so you guys can see the application of the product i read that my light was too bright for you and you could not see the full effect of the makeup okay so this is the limitless soft matte foundation from zara and can i just tell you right off the bat this packaging is so luxurious it literally feels like a branded like beauty product you know and when i say that I mean like we're talking like Estee Lauder, Givenchy, that sort of a vibe because it is a frosted bottle and it's got white of course always chic but it's got this really nice unique twist to it and your foundation doesn't stay straight it's slanted so if you put it on the table it looks like this which is so unique it's such a unique USP you'll always remember Zara for this packaging now I just feel like I'll show you one of them they've got this texture Okay, this nice embossed Zara written on it. And even their packaging is all like crooked, which I feel like is so beautiful. And it's priced at uh, 1,590 rupees only, which I really think is a fantastic price point for the kind of luxness you're getting. This is the N915. So I'm a bit lighter, like you can see the foundation has gone a hair darker, but it is so complicated to, to choose your shade. How, how do you know what's your shade? I love the deeper tones. You guys, they've gone very deep and that is so commendable so a lot of beauty brands don't do this so i'm very impressed that a fashion brand could do this and then yeah we have all the light shades and honestly like they all look like very close to each other so i was very confused it's very thick right off the bat okay we're gonna make this work okay let's see let's figure it out this is a soft gray color which i love they have three colors olive gray and beige <laughs> And they're priced at 490, which is again a steal for a beauty sponge. So I'm just gonna take this and start blending. Okay, I have some foundation here that I haven't blended, but right off the bat, if you can just see the difference, it's nice. It's it's full coverage. I haven't come across a full coverage foundation in a long time because I have not been gravitating towards a full coverage face, but this is so good. I think it sets really fast too. You know what? I'm not mad at the shade selection. Like it's a hair darker, but once I start putting concealer and stuff, I think pretty much I got this. All right, guys, so this is the base. It's full coverage, okay? Like anything under my face has gotten trapped underneath. It has masked all my doubts, insecurities, and fears. I love the finish of this foundation. It's like full coverage, kind of matte, but it's not drying out my skin. Yeah, I really have to see if this dries down absolutely matte. You know, now it looks all beautiful. Okay, so Zara doesn't have concealer, so I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty Four Filter Concealer in Graham Cracker, and I'm taking the Tarte Shape Tape in light medium sand and I'm gonna put that underneath my eye and set my face. Can I just say this sponge is amazing? 
it is such a great sponge like you really have to look for the right density and the right softness it could go either way to be honest and you'd be surprised as to how much of your makeup depends on your tools like on your sponge and i think this is fab i think it's picking up a lot of product but it's not like patchy or like it's really beautiful actually it's just smoothening out my makeup this like, can you see this smoothness it's actually evening out out every little inch of my face which i haven't been this full coverage in a long time i'm quickly gonna set my face using the maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade light 15 and the k beauty powder in the shade vanilla i'm a little amazed dude i don't have pores right now them pores be gone dude it has masked every pore possible and it, i didn't even put primer here i put primer on my nose it's like when i say full coverage it has like wow i could get into something like this when i know i'm going to be photographed you know i think it's going to look so fantastic in flash photography and honestly when i'm putting the powder it is absolutely poreless i don't have no pores with this foundation and powder like when you set it it's just gone I won't say my skin but better it's not one of those foundations it is like I will mask you up and you will go out like a brand new person you've got porcelain skin so I'm loving that it's not too heavy and artificial and cakey oh my god I haven't loved a foundation in a long time all right so I'm going to finish my brows as well <laughs> off camera and I'm going to be right back I'm using the um gimme brow volumizing pencil by Benefit and the Elf Wow brow so now we're going to move on to eyeshadow I purchased the eyeshadows and the foundation myself and the rest was sent to me in PR that you already know. I got very simple colors. I actually wanted to test it out first. And honestly, the price of the eyeshadow is not bad. It's 390 rupees, but it comes in like one pan. So they've got a refillable packaging, refillable lipsticks, and this is all you get. This is the packaging. This is how it comes. Okay, so this is difficult now because I don't know where to keep this. 390 bucks for this is like a bit much. And where do I keep this? Hello. What I did is I tried to make a pan out of the eyeshadow and the app just does not allow it. There's some glitch on the Zara app. So it's a 6 eyeshadow pan right here which comes for 2730 rupees and you can add your eyeshadows here. So as I was doing it the app was glitching. It stopped. It didn't work. So I could not really put my eyeshadows in this and select a 6 color shadow pan. So the first shade I have is Flapper which is a beautiful rose gold shimmery shade. Then we have the shade Imagine which is a beautiful black eye shadow with some purple reflex and shifts to it. So it's got like purple and rose gold blended together. And then we have the shade Alexandria which is a gorgeous olive green color and it's got a slight gold shift to it. Okay, so these are the colors I have on my arm right now and they swatched beautifully. They're buttery, not very buttery but soft enough. And yeah, these are the colors I picked. So I'm going to play with an olive black smoky eye today. I wanted to do that for a while. So I was thinking about Zara's refillable packaging right like i have not bought a brand which has refillable packaging yet i've always bought the entire thing so you know like you're paying for everything you're paying for the cap pump bottle everything together it would be great to have like a pouch of foundation that you can just dunk into your bottle why not um i'm not sure about the foundation but the lipsticks and the eye shadows everything comes in a refillable style lovely colors but not a good payoff like the payoff could be more vibrant it's cute It's like cute olive lovely I think it's for like first time beginners like I think you can definitely like 390 is a very good price point to get like a Zara eyeshadow but I think that's it it's not wow I'm not like flown and you know I'm not blown away at all by the performance of this unfortunately I think I'm going to pick up this beautiful beautiful dark black eyeshadow now and I'm going to put that all over the outer corner It's not depositing color as I wanted to like it's very dark in the pan but the minute I even swatched it or even put it on my eye it's very difficult to deposit the black onto my eye or the olive or shimmer I feel like it's taking so much effort I'm going in like 5 6 time to get off to get the pigment onto my eye which is not a very good experience to be honest it's not very pleasant so yeah it's kind of like a no for me on the eye shadow I would say skip it altogether because you get better payoffs if you pay a little more money with other brands. I'm going to seal it up really quickly. I do have a liner from them that I definitely want to try. This is the refillable eyeliner and it's inky dark. I need to pee. The baby's pushing down on my bladder. Okay, this is what came with it. I got the body and I got the ink. Uh I don't think I should be trusted with this. Okay, so it's a twisty. Oh, so it's just like a plain white pen and I'm supposed you do all the work yourself, you know, and I'm just like fine. <laughs> Okay, how do you do this? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, I think it's gone in now. Oh yeah, I can see the light. 
okay okay so basically you just put the ink liner like down and you just twist it up and shake it and it just automatically like you can see the black coming through now okay there you go we have a black liner ladies and gentlemen we have a winner that was easy that was so easy to do okay that was really nice and easy okay i'm glad yay okay we have the liner going i am really impressed by the liner i actually really like it the best part is it dries down matte and black which is great considering the other pigment issues i think this is fantastic very good buy i'm very sad i can't find it on the app but i'm sure they're going to come out with it the fact that they have sent it means it's going to release soon so i don't have a bronzer you guys the bronzer was kind of difficult to pick because it was really like an orange color bronzer which i was not sure if i would even use that if it's not the right color it's got really orange color it's not a very good chocolatey brown but this is for 17.90 which is like i think the most expensive product apart from the eyeshadow pan in the range it's got eight shades but again i was not sure of this color at all so i think probably when i'm in store i would pick that up to bronze and contour my face i'm using the patrick ta for face in the shade she sculpted and then for blush i'm taking the patrick ta monochrome moment in she's adorable but for now we do have a cheek color in number one it's a highlighter palette in athena love the packaging and when you open it it's got a tiny little mirror so this refillable pan inside it is for 490 bucks so i don't know if it comes with the with the packaging i think just the refill is 490 but again super affordable okay again on first impression the powdery like there's a lot of fallout it's a it's a peachy kind of highlighter it's not necessarily perfect for my so i think this will look great for deeper skin tones i think this will look stunning um not my shade but the highlight itself is not bad but you see what i mean when i say payoff i think it looks very promising in the palette but the payoff is like you gotta put on like a bunch of layers for it to be seen on the cheek it is seen once you put like four or five layers like you can see it um does not emphasize texture much which is a good thing again not the biggest fan i'll be very honest it's a great highlight i think for like 490 rupees for the refill pan you, you can make it work for sure okay i'm just like used to very like silky buttery highlighters that's why all right so we have lip products and i have tons of lip products to try out here at least one in each category we have a lip balm okay which is right here this is just a nice yummy smelling lip balm but again for this one i do feel like i wish they would have sent me like a tinted lip balm because this is too white for my skin tone i'll show you see it's literally like i'm a 90s rock star <laughs> like you know do you know this like the lavender silvery back in the day this is not my shade it's for 1190 rupees again this does come in refillable packaging so you can buy any other color and refill it with it so you just pluck it out put it in and you have the lipstick so that's great okay so i have this one this is the cult satin lipstick for 1190 rupees and I have the shade pretty bizarre it smells delicious can i just tell you like all these lipsticks smell so beautiful um i'm quickly gonna line my lips using the lip pencil sore by mac beautiful it feels amazing it smells amazing it's mad pigmented like you can see it's gorgeous color very beautiful velvet pink color i think a lot of you would love this shade and it's very balmy it's satin it's exactly how it's described called satin and they've got about like seven shades which i think is fantastic another one i could not find on the website is this matte lipstick right it's a zara ultimate lipstick in the shade premier night so it's a matte lipstick wow oh my god wow i am f i really did not think this would be good oh my god that is like the dream soft matte formula and i've been into bullet soft matte lipsticks lately and oh my god guys you guys maybe these are upcoming like products in zara i'm not sure but do keep your eye out on this if you're in store if you're on the app keep checking i definitely am gonna pick up more shades in this i'm gonna pick up more nudes Oh my god, if they have brown nudes, you guys, this is gonna be it. It is so comfortable. Are you kidding me? Dude, Zara has got their lip game down, boss. Like, okay, moving on, we have a liquid lipstick right here, and this is such a good shade. Cannot wait to try. This is the Zara Ulti Matte, Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Regal. Oh my god, why am I flipping out? I just, 
I just think like Zara makeup, I can't relate. Okay, let it dry, let it dry. Liquid lipsticks need to dry. But hey, very good for liquid lipsticks. It's not sticky, doesn't transfer at all. It's a stunning color called Regal, which suits my eye right now because it's like beautiful. 790 rupees. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Fantastic price point for a liquid lipstick. You gotta give it to them. And it comes in nine shades and they've got beautiful shades. Like it's brown, we've got a nice pink, red, dark brown, baby pink, doll pink. We've got it all. So I think, yeah, fabulous. If you're into liquid lipstick, this beautiful, long-lasting matte formulation, stunning. Then we have this one right here, which is again stunning. I've tried it and I love it. It is the Nourishing Jelly Lip Oil, again for 790 rupees, which is fantastic. They have this, they have this, and they have transparent. So we have three shades going on here, which is good. It's all you need in a lip oil. You don't need so many shades in a tinted lip oil. I wish they had a little tint. This is like barely any tint. It's like clear, you know? I would love a little bit more color. Beautiful, it smells like cherries. Oh, so good, it matches what's here. Gorgeous, like I love it. It's so soft, it's so balmy. It's like a liquid balm. You know, it's got like, it's good. It's like the nourishing jelly, which makes sense in the shade Swell, okay? I'm not hating any lip product so far. Are you kidding? Then we have another one. Again, it's 790 rupees. It's all priced the same. We've got the Velvet Pigment Lip Gloss. And we've got four shades in this. And this one is in the shade Symphony. It's a velvet lip gloss. It's exactly what it says. Very velvety. It's very glossy. So velvet gloss is right. This color, however, is not <laughs> for me. I'm so uncomfortable right now. We have Symphony. We've got Overture, which is... I think this is the kind of gloss I would go for. We've got Serenade and then we've got Prelude. Prelude looks good. Mmm, it's screaming luxe, baby. And the shine is high shine. Can you see? High shine. And it's not thin. Like I said, it's thick. Okay, it's a thicker, velvetier gloss for the lip. Okay, we have the last lip product right here, which I'm going to try and then my lip has got to take a break. This is the Stiletto Refillable Demi Matte Lipstick. Love the name. And it's a long lipstick, okay? This is in the shade Couture. Again, it's red color. Hey, it's Valentine's. Makes sense. Yeah, we've got a lot of shades. We've got like 10 shades right here. So we've got one in every color. Red, nude. We've got nude, brown, mauve, orange, purple. So like there's a lot of shades, okay, that you can use. But I have the shade Couture. This is how it looks. Nice and slender like I used to be. It's so Valentine. It's giving me life. It's giving me Francais, like Paris, baby. I want to sit in a Paris cafe with like a nice beret and sip my coffee that's the color it's giving me it's so beautiful if you're into reds couture is the color for you it is not obviously it's not drying it's like a nice satiny finish so i feel like they've nailed it with texture they've got a velvet gloss they've got a tinted lip balm they've got oil they've got a satin a matte a bullet they've got something for everybody which i think is so inclusive even given their foundation shade i think they have nailed it with 40 foundation shades 42. okay when were y'all gonna tell me that i forgot my lashes and mascara like who's gonna tell me that I can't believe I forgot all of it. I'm nicely swatching lipsticks here and I'm like, something looks odd. I was like, yeah, I forgot mascara and uh, lashes. So these are the Kiss Look So Natural Lashes. I got this from the US. All right, guys, that's all I have for you in today's video. Actually, a lot of time has passed since I've done this makeup. I started at three o'clock. It's about like 6.37 now because some people had come and I had to just wait till they left. It's been a while. So it's a good like makeup checking situation. This foundation has not budged, you guys like i had a meal lipstick is intact i didn't reapply so i had a sandwich i was waiting around i watched a video and i was just hanging out just to see the foundation it is so beautiful my face looks intact and ready to go so yeah um like i said i'm sticking to it's a brilliant brilliant foundation like the complexion is one that is like blowing my mind apart from everything else so yeah i enjoyed this video so much and this makeup look also is a vibe i really love it i love the whole fox eye thing even the liner stayed pretty well like it did not go into my tear duct usually you will find it like a little moist and watery because that's how the eye is but the liner stayed fantastically precise so all right guys thank you so much for watching i'll try and have everything linked down below but you can just literally go to the zara website or app to find these products out i love you and i will see you in my next video bye